Hey guys, thought you'd take a look at this. A Chrysler Cordova. Looks like a 78. Let's take a look at it. Somebody's taking the front bumper and this woven rubber material. Let's see. To be able to try and keep some of the splash out. You can see it's done a really good job. Not a speck of rust inside there. All fiberglass and this is all in steel. This is all in great shape. Mill scale, sat outside a long time. You can see the pitting. Somebody's taken those little guys, those turn signal pieces. And I'd say that's a 318, if I'm not mistaken. What do we got here? Caution fan, that's not even from this car. Piece of junk. Hmm, I like it. Let me see now. There's a tag thing here. Yeah, I wonder. You guys tell me. See all that? You press pause, you take a look at it. I assume that's a 318. It doesn't look like a 340 or 360. Spark ignition, yeah, that's the old lean burns business. So, inside there, I guess the old two barrel. Yeah. Two barrel. Nothing special. Nice little spark plug wires in the back, and you can see the coil back there wire and then a whole bunch of wiring on this side. I guess somebody's taken off the, the sheath to it, I guess. Yeah, taken off all the electrical tape, you see. So, diagnostic connector. Look at that, eh? Back in those days. Diagnostics. Look at all the crap in here. Just debris and somebody's taken the uh, wiper arms. That's good. And again, look at the stickers. For optimum performance, use replacement parts from Mopar. And again, Mopar, you can see the hoses, all in good shape, but ooh, this is not in good shape. It's so deep, battery box. And again, this is where, of course, the uh, uh, brake lines and all that sort of stuff run, but uh, this is not the side with the suspension. You know, the, um, the uh, torsion bars. Torsion bar suspension should maybe be on this side. Yeah, we got a bolt, but we don't have it. I thought it was down in this area here. Must be lower. But yeah, way she goes. Take a look at the old tranny. Yeah, of course, dry, but not uh, nothing bad. I wish somebody wouldn't have junked it. Would have tried to sell sell it. Take a look, look at these doors, watch this. Okay, well, let's take a look inside here then. Mm. Ignition, yeah, somebody's broken that off. And of course, all up inside here, the Cordoba. Look at the beautiful seats. Look at these seats. Open this up, this lever back here, perhaps. There's a lever here, no? No. Somebody's taken the back seat. Beautiful shape. Seats are in fine shape. Not even damaged, sagged, ripped, broken. Chronometer. Little crack up there. And the uh, headliner is in gray shape. Perfectly good, not a thing wrong with it. Some of the original paint, who's to say? There's a little dent in the side, but that's from the forklift dick. What's inside here? Oh, won't open, shit. Broken tail light. Another broken tail light. Is there anything I can see in there? No. Smells like old gas. Well, somebody took all the axles out of it. And why doesn't Kenny U pull pull the diff fluid? That's crap. Look at all that mess. Somebody took all the spiders and all that out of it. Oh, actually, I don't know what the hell they did anything to it for. Those are the axles right there. Backing plates? I guess they wanted just the backing plates of all stupidity? Okay, well, if you say so. Yep, nothing too bad in here. Single little leaves, look at the tiny little leaves, eh? But again, no big rust, no big rust. 
sole bottom of the car. No big rust. Typical this sort of thing right here. But again, that can be all pulled out, fixed. Let's try this door. Oh yeah, she opens up. Oh, she's a heavy one. And let's see. Yep. Nice furry carpeting. Yeah. Oh, that's in fine shape. Somebody, oh, hmm. okay. Yeah, I guess somebody wanted that off. Yep, too bad. How many miles? 432, so 143,000 probably kilometers. Yep. Slam the door for good luck. Yep, she works fine. Nothing wrong with that door. Anyways, guys, we'll let you go. A 78 Chrysler Cordoba SAN 379. Out.